Badly beaten by off-duty Milwaukee police officers, now, after nearly eight years, Frank Jude finally talks about his frightening ordeal. Jude reached a multi-million dollar settlement with the city this month. And now he's talking about that brutal night. Our Tom Murray has details from the police administration building. Tom. Well, Shelly Mike, Frank Jude Jr. hopes with this $2 million settlement that he'll finally be able to put the public part of this eight-year struggle behind him, though he says emotionally he'll never be the same. I'm not a celebrity. I'm just a victim. I'm the victim of police brutality. Frank Jude Jr. sat with his legal team to discuss his $2 million settlement for the beating he endured nearly eight years ago. This picture of his injuries on an easel. You see that picture, uh, it made me cry just thinking about it. Jude says he's working with an investor, but was vague when discussing his plans for the money. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, I'm not sure really. Money's not a really issue. I'm just happy justice has, you know, has been served. Off-duty officers at a house party in Bayview assaulted Jude, accusing him of stealing a police badge. That badge was never found. A lot of choking, a lot of kicks to my body. After a state and federal court battle that played out over years, three former officers are serving prison terms. Jude's attorneys say the case exposed problems with how the police department operates and investigates crimes involving its own. Some of which have changed, but some of which still need changes to occur. Common Council President Willie Hines on the settlement. There's no really dollar amount that could compensate anyone for such an egregious um, criminal act. Uh, but it, it was, we were able to bring some resolution to it, and that's really what we wanted to do. Now, a spokesperson for the Milwaukee Police Department sending us a statement saying the department has seen a decrease in citizen complaints, a decrease in use of force, and a decrease in police pursuits, and the department contends that because of that, that is evidence that there has been a change in culture here at MPD. On your side, live at the Police Administration Building, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. Okay, Tom, thanks for the update.